Well, hello, Ted. Uh, my name is David Brooks. Uh, I'm with Friends of Ferguson Heritage, which is a club um, that really looks after the heritage and the interests of Harry Ferguson and Massey Ferguson as it is now. Um, we believe that the uh, three-point linkage system that we find on the tractor is possibly one of the most important patents, uh, indeed developments, in agriculture um, in the last 200 years, probably. Now, you may ask me why. Harry Ferguson was born of a farming family in Northern Ireland, um, and he's, he was born in um, 1884, and at that time, farming inevitably was incredibly difficult. It was very manual work. He left the farm shortly afterwards, and he went into uh, uh, automotive engineering. He was quite successful racing motor cars and motor bikes at that time. And indeed, he was the first Briton ever to design, develop, and fly his own aeroplane. So quite a character. He had a vision. Uh, his vision was that there must be a much easier way, a much more economical way, of producing food for the world, globally he's talking, for the world, um, to stop this high level of manual input that is needed all the time. To do this, he felt, I need two things. I need a power source. Now, the power source at that time was very heavy, high-value tractors. Um, and he wanted to get away from that, basically for two reasons. Because, first of all, the expense was very high. Farmers couldn't afford them. And secondly, they really did not do a good job, purely and simply because they did not have the systems of implements to go with them. So he sat back and he said to himself, well, OK, we need a small, low-cost, lightweight tractor that has its own implements that can attach to a linkage system on the tractor to make the tractor and the implement one piece. With any development, one has to do research. And Harry's research found that the most expensive factor in agricultural production was, was the draft animals that were being used. Now, in the UK, they may have been horses, but certainly, in let us say, in India, they would have been oxen or water buffalo. And it takes, well, one person estimated that in the United Kingdom it takes three acres of land to feed one heavy horse per year. Now, if a farm has two or three heavy horses on, that is taking up nine or ten acres, which was a great deal of the land that the farmer had. If we could get rid of the heavy horses and economically mechanise the programme, then we've suddenly found ourselves with three, six, nine, or whatever it might be, extra acres to grow food on, which gives, a, which gives the farmer a greater income. So against that scenario, uh, Harry Ferguson designed the Little Grey Ferguson, which we can see here in the, in the museum. At the back of that Ferguson, you will see this wonderful three-point linkage. That was the way of attaching the implement to the tractor to make them one unit. But not only that, and here is a clever bit, to produce good crops, you have to have a smooth seed bed, an equal depth seed bed, if you like. And this plough, or this, these implements, would produce it because the three-point system, the three-point linkage, which is the Ferguson system, allowed an automatic depth control system on the implement. So the more pull or the more depth that the implement went to, the greater the weight transfer there was onto the tractor. Why do you want weight transfer? Well, if you look at the old tractors of olden days, they were great big heavy machines. And to get traction, to pull anything, they had to have a lot of weight in them. So weight was added and added and added. What Ferguson said was, well, if I couple my machines directly to the tractor, I can transfer that weight onto the tractor and I don't need the heavy, the heavy equipment, the heavy build of the, of the old tractors. So that was where he went ahead. Go and have a look at the little tractor. When that first came out, it cost £244. And that is a great advantage to the farmer. He could afford it. Originally, there was four implements that were matched to the tractor. There are now 42. But OK, those four implements, each at that time, cost £25. And they gave the farmer the opportunity to produce a seed bed to produce a crop. Coming slightly more up to date, uh, we believe Harry Ferguson totally achieved his objectives with his wonderful patent, his wonderful invention, which I must say again, you've got to vote for. Uh, 
between 1936 and 1956, they produced 517,651 of these small tractors, every one at that wonderful old tractor plant in Coventry at Banalane. Since the patents on the three-point linkage have lapsed, every major tractor manufacturer in the world has used this unique system on their products. On that basis, we believe that Harry Ferguson's patented three-point linkage system, remember it's a system, it's not just a gadget, this three-point linkage system is possibly one of the most important systems or patents that the world has ever seen.